Welcome to the Card Market Coliseum. Today we have an arena streamer coming in, so we're going to be playing Future Standard, Standard 2022. But before we get into that, I have another note to make. Technically, Carl should play against the streamer today because he won last week. But since Carl is kind of away and setting up for a second episode each week for the paper gameplay, I kind of have to fill in his spot. But I mean, I'm the better player anyway, so like, who cares about him? So while Carl is away, already setting up for the second episode each week of the Card Market Coliseum, it would be greatly appreciated if you could still subscribe so we can get to 10,000 subscribers, because at that point we can really justify the second episode each week of the Card Market Coliseum. But for now, it's about this episode and we'll find out who I'm facing off against right now. Yeah, Moin, Solaris here. I am the secret streamer Yamin was talking about. Uh, I'm streaming a lot of magic on Twitch. You can find me there at Soul4R1S or Solaris. Uh, I am also at YouTube. My channel is SolarisMTG and everywhere on social media you can find me. And I'm really glad to be here in the Card Market Coliseum. Last week, someone in the comments said Bard Class. And I was like, yes, I always wanted to play Bard Class. Bard Class is a great enchantment and this deck is all about legendary creatures. You always want to hit Bard Class on turn two and then just pump out every creature for the cost reduction with red and green and then just get over it and take over the late game with all the card advantages the level three of the Bard Class delivers. Other than that, the deck is filled with a lot of legendary cards, which can be a problem because if you're playing four of legendaries, if you draw multiples, that's not that great, but there are some cool intricate plays you can have with it. Also, Jasper Sentinel is in the deck because you always want to ramp out and you, this deck is very mana hungry and there's a nice, neat interaction between Jasper Sentinel and Magda. So, someone in last week's comments asked for a Kaya Ors of Midrange deck. I couldn't really find a successful list, so I just built something on top of an Ors of Sacrifice shell. The deck makes use of a lot of cards that synergize with Sacrifice your own creatures. For example, Loth, the new planeswalker that only gets loyalty when one of your creatures die. I also play Blood on the Snow to deal with other creature decks because I don't really care about my creatures dying. I can even get them back with Blood on the Snow, but haha, <laughs> all of my opponent's creatures, they're gone. I think the deck's really cool and I can't wait to play it, so let's see what Kai has brought to the table. This deck is quite expensive for a standard 2022 deck. If you look on other websites, you will have to play around 400 euros to get this deck. But if you're going to card market and use the shopping wizard, you will get it for around 150 euros, which is like an insane discount. So definitely check out the shopping wizard. So my deck usually is like 140 euros if you just buy it individually. But if you use the shopping wizard to combine orders and find the best places to order from, you can get it down as low as 100 euro flat. All right, Kai, welcome to the Colosseum. This is the place where the magic happens. Yeah, okay, I see that. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> and this is where I'll defeat you. Uh, I'm not so sure about that. I already won the die roll, so. Yeah, that's true, but the die roll is not everything, right? All right, Okay. let's, let's see. see. <laughs> okay. This is the first time I'm playing uh, Standard 2022, so I have no idea if this is good enough or not. Yeah, I, I played some, but it's a really fresh format, but I think I quite like it. And what do you think about your hand? Uh, I'll keep it, sure. So this hand is kind of slow, but it does have the shambling gas to prevent any aggressive attacks early on. And then for the late game, I have double loath. So this looks good to me. Yeah, I keep as well. All right, we'll try this. My starting hand is missing the namesake card Bard class, but other than that, it's pretty great. We have the acceleration of Jasper Sentinel. We have our turn one and our turn two pretty much scripted out, no matter what Yamin is playing. Uh, so we can play turn one, one drop, turn two, two drop, and one drop, and we have some five drops to accelerate into. So I think this is a great start. All right, I'll go first. Yeah. Uh, this is exciting. I'll play a hive of the eye tyrant, Ooh, okay. which enters untapped because I. Uh, don't have two or more lands. Yep. Uh, and I'll play a Shambling Ghast, which is a 1-1 one, one zombie that when it dies, it either gives uh, a, another creature minus one, minus one, or it creates a treasure token. Okay, that's a great one drop. Already ahead on the board. Go ahead. My turn? Yes. Okay, uh, okay you played a one drop. I think I will do the same, and I will play probably the best one drop in the format. No, I'm scared. It's Jasper Sentinel. It's a mana elf. It's a one mana elf. 
with reach one two and I have to tap it and another creature to make one mana of any color. All right, that's that's a lot worse than Birds of Paradise or something. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Sadly, it is. And then I pass the turn. All right, I'll untap. Sure. I'll draw. Play a Faceless Haven. Okay. Yeah. And I will pass the turn. Okay. Uh, I will draw the card for my turn. That was a good one, actually. Uh, I will play a Man Land as well. I will play Den of the Buck Bear. So I'm not quite sure what Yamin is playing here. I saw some snow lands. Maybe I have to play around Blood on the Snow, but still, well, I'm a creature deck, so I have to play them out. Then I will play for a red and a green. Tarknar Demon Fang No. Okay. A All legendary right. creature. Uh, it's a 2 2, which has pack tactics. If I attack with a creature with a total power of 6 or greater, attacking creatures get plus 1 plus 0. And for the steep cost of 2 red and green, I can double Tarknar's power and toughness until end of turn. So for 8 mana, it could become. An 8 2? <laughs> no, it's an 8 8. It also doubles oh, toughness wow, as well. Oh, wow, crazy. Yeah, yeah. And now, because I have the Jasper Sentinel, I can use this one and my Tarknar to make one green mana and then play another Jasper Sentinel. You are truly accelerating out some stuff. Yeah, I do. And then I will pass the turn. Okay, that's a lot of creatures there. Um, I'll take my draw. Sure. Ooh. I'll play Snow Covered Plains. Okay. And I'll use my Hive to cast another Shambling Ghast. A second Ghast? Not really what I was looking for, but I'll take it. It really prevents the attacks from Kai here. Both sitting there with double one drops. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will untap, I will draw for turn. Okay, now I have a lot of mana and I don't know what to do with that. I think I have to go with this one. And I would use the green mana of it. Okay, I will use red and green mana and I tap the Jasper Sentinel for the mana ability and tap the other Jasper Sentinel with it. So both of them are basically producing half a mana. Yeah, they, they are producing <laughs> half a mana. And I will make white mana with it and I will play Minsk Beloved Ranger. Oh wow! Minsk is a new legendary uh, from the Adventures in the Forgotten Realm. It's a 3-3. And it brings a little friend. It actually brings a little hamster called Boo, which is also legendary. And it's a 1-1 one -one with Trample and Haste. Minsk was a great draw. Boo kills so fast, you don't want to ever get in front of this hamster. And it has another activated ability. For X, until end of turn, target creature you control has base power and toughness XX. So I can boost this little fellow here. And you can boost anything else too. Yeah, and I also can use it for x equals zero to kill my creatures, but I probably don't. <laughs> I, I, I really want to mind slaver you right now. <laughs> Just x equals zero everything. Uh, and then I probably don't have attacks, so I will just pass the turn to you. Oh, feel free to attack, Kai. Yeah, I could, but your creatures are good at, at blocking. blocking. <laughs> Jeez, these ghasts are really holding off a lot of attacks. I'm very glad that I have them. But these one drops, these shambling ghasts are really keep me from attacking here. I don't know where's a great attack. Most of my creatures are X1s or would even die. This is pretty good defensive stuff Yamin is putting out, even though nothing really is happening to the board. <laughs> I'll draw. Um, I will play a snow covered swamp. Sure. And I'll pass the turn. I really want to draw a land this turn. I really want to draw a land. I hope you don't. Well, the problem with all legendaries is you don't want to draw multiples oh. of the same one, but okay. Uh, I think it's time for the big guns, right? I, I don't think so. I think you it's, don't think so? it's still Maybe time. Maybe I have two one <laughs> <laughs> Let's build up a bit. Uh, I would tap three mana, and I would tap the first Jasper Sentinel with the Boo to make one white mana and the second Jasper Sentinel with the Targnar to make one green mana. A lot of mana. And then I will play Drist do Erden, or Drizzt do Erden, which is a 3-3 double strike legendary creature, but also brings a friend, because a lot of legendary creatures bring legendary friends. Yeah. And uh, Drist, Drizzt will bring Gwenivar, which is a 4-1 trample legendary <gasps> cat token. That's a lot of creatures, Kai. And because there is still more text on Drist, it also, it also says, Whenever a creature dies, if it had power greater than Drizzt's power, Drizzt 
plus one plus one counters equal to the difference. All right, so it's really convenient that this token has more power than her. It is. Crazy. But still, I think I'm going to pass, even though it looks a bit passive, but maybe there will be some attacks next turn. All right, let's, let's see if there will be attacks next turn. <laughs> uh, I'll untap, I'll draw. Sure. And then... I'll play a snow-covered swamp. Okay. And I'll play a new Planeswalker, uh, which is Lolf the Spider Queen. Entering with four loyalty, she gets another loyalty uh, counter whenever a creature dies. Uh, for a zero, I draw a card and I lose one life. For minus three, I create two, two one black spider tokens. And for minus eight, I get an emblem that basically uh, says that each of my attacks, if it deals any damage to you, deals at least eight damage. Okay, this is quite a lot. I only have 20 life. Yeah, but um, for now, right. looks like I can finally deploy Lolf. Now the question becomes, what do I do with Lolf? Do I try to dig towards a sweeper or do I try to stabilize by blocking? All right, I will uh, let Lolf go down to one loyalty and create two one spiders. Two yeah. two one spiders. They both have menace, menace and reach. So okay. I have four creatures to your seven. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see, there should be some attacks here, I guess. Draw a card for turn. Okay, this is the one I needed last turn. There are, were a lot of different lines, but I think I will play a Needle Verge Pathway as the Pillar Verge Pathway to get access to white mana. All right, all three colors of mana, eh? All three colors of mana, yes. I at least hope you're not playing a fourth color. Ah, there are some five color cards in my deck. Um, okay, and then I will play Kolvori. This is a 2-4 legendary creature. It gets plus 4, plus 2 and vigilance uh, as long as I control three, uh, 3 or more legendary creatures, which I Let's, do. let's count, Kai. Uh, one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, this is more than 3, right? Yeah, I think okay. so. So it's a 6-6 six, six vigilance. And it has an activated ability. For one in the green, look at the top six cards of a library. You may reveal a legendary creature card from among them. Put it into your hand. Of course! <laughs> so we <laughs> that need seems more very, card advantage. That seems very powerful. And then I will probably attack. Man, these attack steps are rather complicated. I mean, there's a lot to think about. Even just the double striking from Drizzt is pretty tough to deal with because you have a lot of X ones there. And then if you attack with Drizzt and Yamin blocks with a Shambling Gust, first strike damage resolves, the minus one, minus one kills one of my creatures which are also attacking. You have to take everything into account, even though there is not a lot on the board on Yamin's side. Let's attack your loaf with my trample creatures. All right. Um, so a cat and a hamster go to the spider queen. <laughs> They'll be faced by a zombie. Okay, um, yeah. I'll block uh, the hamster with the zombie. Yeah. So loaf unfortunately dies. But then also the gas dies and triggers its ability, which grants the cat minus one minus one until end of turn. That's a great play because then Drizzt doesn't get a counter. That that's the secret plan all okay. along. So Lolf is dead, but I get to take a really good trade here. I mean, now I'm pretty sure that he is playing Blood on the Snow in his deck because it's a black white control mid range control deck. So he has to play sweepers, and we already see that all of his creatures have at least some beneficial die trigger, so I'm really scared about him drawing a Blood on the Snow. I will draw a card. Yep. And I will pay five mana to cast another Lolf. Another one? Another one. Okay. And with her come two new Spideys. Okay. And then I'll just play another Planes. Snug and Snow Covered one at that, and okay. then it's your turn. Okay. Uh, draw for turn. Or this one. Okay, yeah, well, uh, now it's getting tough to remove low. You have a lot of legs on the board. Okay, I will attack your low with Kolvori and Drizzt. I guess I'll just jump both of them with a spider token each. Yeah, seems fine. All right. Okay. So my Loth gets two loyalty. That's true. Okay, after combat, I will play a Needle Verge Pathway. 
And then I will tap Jesper, Sentinel, and Targnar. Oh, oh my god, for a blue mana. Okay. And then Jesper, Sentinel, and Minsk for a black mana. Oh no. And then I will play the oh. Prismatic Bridge. Which is an enchantment that says at the beginning of your upgrade revealed cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature or planeswalker card, put the card onto the battlefield. I have the feeling this is getting out of hand. I have never seen a prismatic bridge cast before. I'm really scared, but maybe with another sweeper I can stay in the game. This board is getting out of hand, Kai. Yeah, but I think you're you're the better player, so we, you'll find you will oh, find your way out of this, I think. Easily. Easily. Okay. <laughs> Uh, all right, so first things first, gonna play another snow-covered planes, and then I will cast a Skullport Merchant. Okay. Which, when it enters the battlefield, it creates a treasure token, and for two mana and sacrificing another creature or treasure token, um, I can draw a card. Okay, that's nice synergy. I guess I'll zero my loaf, so I draw a card and I lose one life. Okay. First blood! First blood, yes! <laughs> Going on to 19, I will cast another Shambling Ghast. Okay, we've seen that one before. Yeah, all, all them Ghasts. <laughs> and then that's your turn. Uh, at the end of your turn, I will activate Kulvori. All right. The top six cards of my library. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I think. I think it has to be this one. Uh, I will show you a dragon. Oh, that, what is your <laughs> deck? I mean, it's a legendary uh, dragon. You, you have to put it into your deck. That's cool, but not cool for me. <laughs> uh, then I go to my turn? Sure. Okay. Untap. Upkeep. I would tr the prismatic bridge will trigger. Sure. Yeah, that's, that, that's a creature. One. That's a creature. I will. Put Magda onto the battlefield. Fine. Which is, which is a great uh, great combo with Jasper Sentinel, because if you tap it, you will get a treasure token. That's pretty cool. And then I will draw a card for my turn. Yep. Well, this was kind of unnecessary, this draw, but okay. You'll take it, is what you're I, saying. I take it, yeah, I take it. Okay, another <laughs> very tough combat step, I think, ahead of me. You have one card in hand. Okay. I do have one I mean, card. It's extremely powerful. It's Kai. extremely powerful. Okay, uh, I sh okay. You better be scared. Yeah, I will tap Jasper, Sentinel, and Bakta. Create one treasure token and add one red mana to the mana pool. All right. So basically, two mana for one. No, that's that's not true. This what is. Am, yeah. What am I even saying? But it's a cool combo. I think it's one of the one of the explosive starts you can have in standard 2022. Jasper, Sentinel, into Bakta. Seems good. Uh, one red floating. I will tap. Five additional mana and play the Infernal Stones. Okay. Okay, so what about attacking? I think we are going to take out Lolf first, or try to. And I will attack. Um, Man, there, this this interaction between Drabble Strike and getting minus one minus one is pretty tough to do. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. Like the the gas dies before the dragon even deals combat damage. So yeah. Um, but I think everything goes to Drist. The, the blue zone. To blue zone. The blue and zone. To Drist, I think. You mean to loathe? Uh, to loathe, yeah. To loathe. Yeah, yeah. All right. This might be real hard to get out of, but maybe I'll manage. And then the pack tactics trigger, sorry. Oh, yeah, uh, sure. The pack so tactics trigger, because I think the combined power is greater than six. It might be greater than this six. This alone, yes. So every creature gets plus one plus zero. So Easy. Yeah. Se seven, 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 six, six three, three two, two, four, three. three. Seven, six, four, three, double strike. Oh. oh. All right, so one Shambling Ghast will for sure block Drizzt. Okay. Or Drizzt. The other one will block the 7-6. Mm -hmm. uh, the Merchant, at least I think, is free to block the Targnar. Yeah, that's true. Uh, the one Spider will block the Dragon. Mm -hmm. And then 
before damage, I'll sacrifice a treasure to okay. create black mana. Okay. And spend one and a black to sacrifice uh, the Shambling Gas. Yeah. To draw a card. Yeah. This makes Shambling Gas trigger and adds one loyalty to Loth. So Loth goes to four. Shambling Gas creates another treasure token. And then the Skullport Merchant uh, ability resolves, which lets me draw a card. Yep. So then I use this treasure token and another mana to sacrifice the other Shambling Gas. That works. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So first things first, Loth gets another loyalty. Yep. Shambling Gas um, goes back and creates another treasure. And Skullport Merchant draws me another card. That's, that works. This deck is very synergistic. <laughs> so then um, Minsk deals three damage to Loth. Uh, four? Four. You're, four you, yeah, the, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, so Loth goes down to one. Yep. And then this dragon kills the spider. Yep. Which adds another loyalty to Loth. That's true. And I think we managed to get through combat. Uh, yeah, I'm quite surprised, but it seems like it. And these two just bounce off each other. Exactly. Um, do I need to do anything else here? No, I'm probably good. Your turn. It, it looks like your board is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Please, no blood on the snow. I will take my draw. Sure. And Loth doesn't have a lot to do besides zeroing. So mm -hmm. I will draw a card and lose one life, yep. going down to 18. I can't believe I'm on 18 facing this board. Yeah, I deal only damage in big chunks, I guess. I see, so you're, <laughs> you're planning to take me out in one go. Unless you're playing some blood on the snow action or something. That would be... <laughs> very that that would, uh, would be tough. Yeah, I, I can imagine. All right, so this might be my final chance to find a sweeper here. So first things first, I'll play an eye twitch, which okay. is a 1-1 one -one flyer, which when it dies, I learn. I thought it would be the fourth founding guest. It, no, it's, it's, <laughs> not, it's not the fourth one of those. Um, instead, I will sacrifice it to draw a card, but first I will learn yep. and add a loyalty to yep. both. I will learn how to reduce something to memory. Oh, okay. Uh, the, the sorcery lets me exile a non-land permanent, and instead you get a 3-2 red and white spirit creature token. And then I'll draw the card off of Skullport Merchant. Yep. I will play a snow-covered swamp, and then I'll reduce this dragon to memory. Okay, this one is exiled. Now. It is exiled. Uh, and instead, I can hand you the first 3-2 spirit token that we have ever had on the Cart Market Coliseum. Nice. There you go. Okay, let me check. Dice, okay. Yeah, doesn't get a counter, unfortunately. Um, Unfortunately, I used to. I guess that's my turn, and I'm I'm not too optimistic about my coming turns. Okay, uh, I will untap a lot of creatures. I will trigger in my upkeep the prismatic bridge. Put that card onto the battlefield. Okay. I, oh, another drizzt. I I think I will put this one onto the battlefield. I choose the old one to keep and just get a granny farm. All right. Coming back from the dead. Uh, <laughs> and then I would draw for turn? Sure. Okay. You have a 1, 4, and a 2, 1, and you're an 18, right? I do. And I have four cards in hand. Yeah, I, you have four cards in hand. Uh, but uh, I don't want you to forget about it. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I can see that. <laughs> but do we just ignore Lolf at this point? Uh, uh, she's very threatening. Yeah, she's very threatening. <laughs> but, uh, okay, let's see. Um, I think we are winning here. Let's just try it, I think. I... Tap five mana and I use this treasure token oh, for another mana. Come on, another dragon. And play a second inferno of the star mounts. All right, easy. <clears throat> and then I will go to attacks. Sure. Uh, I will attack you, 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 you. Mark that triggers. I get a treasure token and the target now triggers every creature gets plus one plus zero. All right, I have I have pretty straightforward blocks, and we'll just calculate afterwards. Hey, okay. <laughs> the spider blocks the dragon, sure, and the scalport merchant blocks the drizzt, and then I'll um, before damage I'll sacrifice the spider, yeah, 
to draw a card and yep. give Loth one loyalty. So in total, I take three, five, seven, 11, uh, 15, 18 damage, which is exactly enough. Also, I, I, also this one, right? I think you Oh, true, I didn't even count it. Oh, so it's I'm, 25. I'm super dead. Okay. All right, let's move on to game two. <laughs> <laughs> thank you to Card Market for inviting me to this event. And secondly, thank you to Karma Crow for providing us with all the cards we need. Karma Crow are insane. They are one of the longest standing power sellers on Card Market. They have such a huge inventory, I can't spread my arms wide enough for their inventory. Okay, let me go, let me go with you. <laughs> it's huge! They always sponsor our videos by providing us all the cards. We send them this long of a deck list and they're like, yes, here, have it your way. <laughs> they provide us with all the cards, so huge shout outs to them for making these videos even possible. If you have any need for cards, go check out their inventory. They likely have all the cards you need and they ship within three days within of Euro Europe, usually. And with this, let's head back into the game. At this point, I assume that Bard class is somewhere in Kai's deck, so I'm gonna bring in Portable Hole and Enchantment Removal to get rid of it. Also, the Enchantment Removal can take care of the Prismatic Bridge, which would have been really handy last game. Well, as for sideboarding, I think Radan is pretty good because uh, at first she is making snow mana pretty awkward and secondly, I always, I'm in fear of blood on the snow and I can delay it with Radan, so Radan seems a natural fit to put in. And then I just thought maybe Toski would be great because Toski is another card which is indestructible and even though it's not that great against Shambling Ghast, I think most of the removal Yamin is playing is probably destroy effects, so I think uh, Toski could be a good fit. As for things I will board out, I just thought, figured hmm, maybe just move out one of all the legendaries, so I only have three of one at the same time, so I am not in the danger of drawing multiples at a time. All right, game two. I'll go first, Kai. I'll, okay. I'll try again. <laughs> yeah, it should be better than the first game. We'll see. We'll see about that. Don't you dare tell me how good my deck is, Kai. <laughs> I'll keep this hand. All right, this seems like a much better start. Have a one drop, have a two drop to draw cards. And with so much card draw, I'm almost certain to find a sweeper at some point, which should be really good against Kai. I'll keep as well. My starting hand on game two is quite interesting because it's all about sequencing. At first you would think, okay, you always play your one drop accelerator on turn one. But then if you look deeper into the hand, there's a branch loft pathway, which is a green white double land. And if you want to play Minsk out, you have to play it for the white side, which means it would be better to play your red green tapped land on turn one, just put in your bot class on turn two and then on turn three, you can really go off with this hand. So I think this hand is great. You can play out like three turns with it and then if Yamin does nothing, we should probably win the game. All right, uh, off to the races. Yep. I'll start off with a Shine Shadow Snarl, okay. revealing a snow covered planes in my hand. Okay, so great. It enters great. on tap. No, uh, no, 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 don't do it. Okay. Oh, no, it's just an eye twitch. <sighs> okay. I was I, I, about <laughs> was like the, the gas again. blocking <laughs> all of your attacks once again. Okay. Go ahead. Draw for turn. I will play just a tapped Highland Forest and pass the turn. I will draw my card for the turn. Sure. Play a Cave of the Frost Dragon mm -hmm. and attack you for one. Oh no, first damage. First blood. 19. 19. Go ahead. Okay, I will untap, I will draw for turn. So from learning, I'll probably get Pest Summoning just to kind of build up a board of blockers. Then of the Bugbear. And then I will play the card which makes this deck tick. Oh no, no. You didn't even saw it the first game. I will play Bard Class. Change of plans, I have to find an answer to Bard Class. At the first stage, uh, legendary creatures enter the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter. So that's right now. This is right now. I can level it up to level two for red green. And then my legendary spells cost red green less to cast, but only red green. Yeah, I so no color, no colorless no man has reduced. And uh, when I go to level three, you cannot win the game ever because every time I will cast a legendary spell, I exile the top two cards of my library and play them this turn. All right, that seems dangerous. And your turn. At end of turn, I will cast a deadly dispute, sacrificing my eye twitch. So first I learn, and okay. then I create a treasure token and draw two cards. Okay, that's what I call value. All right, so for learning, I'll once again choose Reduce to Memory. Oh no, I will just... <laughs> <laughs> You'll hide There's that. no bot class <laughs> on the battlefield. All right, I'll uh, also create a treasure token and draw two cards. One, 
two. Okay, yeah. I have a lot of cards in hand. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I'll untap? Yep. And I will draw. I'll play another Shine Shadow Snarl, revealing once again snow covered plains. I know this one. Yeah. And then. At this point, I really have to decide whether I want to give Kai a free 3 2 for his Bard class or just let it stick, draw more cards, and find a sweeper. So then I can take care of the Bard class later on when he invested more mana into it. Alright, I'll be kind, Kai. I'll just pass the turn. Oh no. Go ahead. Okay. I will. Are you, are you serious? I am serious. Okay. Untap, draw for turn? Sure. Okay, first things first, I would like to level up the bot class. Sure. I would just put a level 2 dice yeah. on this. I will play a branch loft pathway as the white version, which is the bottom of pathway. Okay. Then I would like to play Targna for free. Okay. Which gets an additional plus one plus one counter because it's a legend. Sure. And then I would have one white man oh, come on. to cast <laughs> Minsk, sure. uh, which gets a plus one plus one counter and it gets Boo, which also is pumped up Yep. because it's Boo is also legendary. So this is also a plus one plus one counter. I really didn't want to see this many creatures come out of that Bard class on turn three. This is kind of threatening. And then I would like to declare a text. Sure. I'll take two. Okay. Down to 18. And it's your turn. All right, end of turn, I will cast another Deadly Dispute, sacrificing <laughs> the treasure, getting back a treasure and drawing two cards. I mean, that's great value. Look, you're, you're playing some creatures. Yeah, I, I mean... I don't care about that, I'll just draw cards. Okay. And then I'll go into my turn. Sure. Untap, upkeep, draw. I'll play yet another Shine Shadow Snarl, <laughs> revealing yet another okay. snow-covered planes. I know this planes now. You have so many cards in hand. So many cards in hand. <laughs> uh, and I'll make use of some of them at least. I'll play a Skullport Merchant. Sure. Which comes with a treasure token first mm -hmm. and foremost. And then I will also play the most feared Shambling Gas. Oh no, there it is again. P putting up the defenses. <laughs> Go ahead. Untap. As in game one, it's pretty tough to work out combat here. What do I do? I have four mana. Do I pump Targna? Do I just pump Boo? Do I play the Mana Elf? Okay, I think I have to play land. That is that is the easy one. It does sound like a good idea. Yeah. And then I will probably just send Boo to the gym. Uh, I tap four mana, activate Minsk ability, make Boo a 4-4. Four, four. So in total it's a 5-5? Five, five? It's a 5-5. Five, five. All right. 5-5 five, five, trample haste hamster, by the way. Just saying. Strong. And this one... It worked out. <laughs> it worked out a lot, okay. And then I would like to declare attacks. Sure. I will attack with everyone. Targna triggers and everyone gets plus one plus zero until the end of turn. So this is a 4-3, this is a 5-4 and this is a 6-5. Alright, I will um, block Minsk and then uh, before damage, sacrifice two treasure tokens to sacrifice the Shambling Ghast, sure. which in turn creates another treasure token, <laughs> and then I draw a card. Yeah. And You're loving those treasures. I do. And then uh, I'll take a total of 10 damage, is that correct? Uh, yes. So I'll go down to 8. Ugh! And then I pass the turn. Alright, I'll untap. I will draw. I didn't find a sweeper. Maybe Kai doesn't attack me or something? Is it the blinks? No, it's, it's a swamp, oh, okay. it's a swamp. Um, <laughs> and I will cast a Kaya, oh. the inexorable, uh, which will minus three to take care of Minsk. Uh, it's getting exiled. Boo is sad now. Boo is sad, but Boo is still buff, being a 2-2. <laughs> That's true. Go ahead. Okay. Untap. Draw for two. I'm basically in the same situation as the turn before. But now I have five mana. What do I do with the five mana? I could maybe level up Bard class to level three to set up for the longer game, but I can also activate Den of the Bugbear. Den of the Bug. Wait, wait, Den of the Bugbear? Well, this looks pretty promising to me. I hope you don't have anything. I'll just play my land for the turn. Activate the Den of the Bugbear. Um, you have one treasure mana, right? So, I do, I do. So one rainbow mana of anything that could happen. Okay, I think uh, 
You have to show you have to show it to me. I will attack with everything. All right. Uh, then we have two triggers: one of the Tarkna, one of then of the Buckbear. So how how will you order those triggers, Kai? I will order those triggers in this way: this this goes on the stack first, this second, so this resolves first. All right. So that I goblin will, is a two-one. This one, this goblin gets gets pumped by Tarknar. And then I will be attacking for lethal, I think. Yeah, I think so too, if you stack those triggers correctly. I'll block here and I'll take a total of uh, three, three, seven, seven nine. nine. So, good games, Kai. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, another loss added to my Colosseum score, Kai. How could you do this to me? Are you even a real magic player? Uh, at this point, I have to question that myself. If you're watching next week's episode, please make sure to leave me a good modern deck to play for next week again. And in the meantime, if you want to see actual good magic, uh, then Kai, I'm sure you can tell them where to find you online, right? Yeah, sure. You can find me on Twitch, on Twitch TV slash Solaris, or on YouTube at SolarisMTG with the 4 and the 1 for the A and the I. But beware, this content is mostly in German. All right. Uh, well, with that being said, go sub to Kai if you understand German, or if you don't, uh, yeah. go sub to us. Go sub here, definitely sub here. And we'll see each other next week in the Card Market Coliseum. Bye.